All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play, some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. I'm assuming that you guys already saw the update video. So yes, this is only temporary. In between the time of no Yu-Gi-Oh! Turn Draft League that is still on hold at the moment. We are collecting the duels, but I would like to get at least further ahead. So give, give me about a month as of right now. And really, I'm not even in the mood to be touching Yu-Gi-Oh! Maybe when the link format comes and everything completely changes, but for right now, I'm not into really playing Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not really into the ban list. I'm not, you know, I'm not really playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at all uh, when it comes to real life. So I'm just kind of stepping away from the game. So uh, I wanted to give you guys something, you know, since the weekends, you know, and while I could just take the weekends off and do nothing, I mean, it doesn't really take me too much time and effort to just go ahead and record a little bit of this and give it to you. So you're actually getting two Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays right now. So of course on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're getting Yu-Gi-Oh! Attack Force 5. But on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, you are getting Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of Bill. So we're going to continue on right where we left off. This is actually on my new computer. All the previous episodes for Legacy of Duelist were actually on my old computer and that computer, you know, there's still some parts from that old computer and this new computer, but this new computer is a beast. Like, this, this is like, don't even compare, you know? So we're running Camtasia 9. Everything should be good when it comes to recording. Everything should be great. So uh, hopefully you guys will uh, appreciate this and accept this in exchange for, you know, uh, no uh, live streams and no uh, you get your draft for now. Like I said, this is only temporary. And of course, I was planning on coming back to this game, but I, you know, I can do uh, two things at once. So let's go ahead and continue on. So uh, last time we dueled against Pegasus, where he played himself, uh, ducked himself out by not being able to attack at all. And uh, now we're moving on to season two with Merrick and all of that. So apparently, you guys told me that, that this is, of course, Bandit Keith, where you go with Bandit Keith. Uh, like I said, the. the the whole situation is kind of blurry to me, but we're going to jump right into it right now and maybe it'll tell me the stories the mysterious duels. Despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom tournament, Yuki noticed that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was worried about their uncertain future. The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yuki, and I sense that fate has more in store for us. And we're in this together, no matter what. Good, I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I'll help you figure it out. Later that day, Yuki and Teya came across a fortune teller that offered to tell Yugi his future. Yugi welcomed the opportunity. What are you doing, Yugi? Taya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the puzzle. The fortune teller asked for a personal item which belonged... Which, oh no, what, what am I reading? Which he could use to tell the future. He indicated the Millennium Puzzle would be perfect. So Yugi reluctantly handed it over. It's hell no, like, I don't even care if you're gonna tell my future fortune. The, literally, the Millennium Puzzle was so important. I don't even know why you handed it over, Yugi. All right. <laughs> Yugi realized it was a ruse when the fortune teller fled with the Millennium Puzzle, leaving a trail of arrows for Yugi to follow. It was a trap, but Yugi had no choice. Out of the trap of arrows. I don't even remember that. Huh. Alright. <laughs> when Yuki tracked down the thief, they discovered that the fortune teller was not other than Bandit Keith, but there was something different about him. Something, or someone, was speaking through him. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's become my mind controlled slave. Who are you, and what did you do with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power your item contains within, but according to the rules of its ancient magic, I had to win it from you in a duel. Do you? I guess you do. Okay. I didn't even know I was thinking. As for who I am, let's just say that I am one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the power of a millennium idol. I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your millennium puzzle. <laughs> okay. There are some ancient secrets buried within it, of which you and even the spirit that inhabit it are unaware. And that's why I will add it to my collection. The puzzle was out of his reach. So he reached out his mind to try to connect his spirit and stuff. Well, you can do that? Like, what, like, what kind of bullshit made up is this? Like, okay. <laughs> I can barely hear you, Yuki. Our bond is weak. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You'll have to fight him alone. Alone? I've never fought a duel without you. You can defeat him. Just trust yourself and your death, and you'll find the way. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yuki, I have seen your future and foretold your fate. This duel will be your last. It's time to duel! <laughs> okay, well, I gotta duel against Bandit Keith. Not looking for a bullet, Yuki, and of course, Bandit Keith was that, that L, that L that we got when we faced Joey, so hopefully, Bandit Keith won't just freaking wreck my soul in this race. Oh, wait, that was wrong. Uh, this is after the update. I, I, I'm gonna get mixed up between Yu Gi Oh! Attack Force 5 and this, but this is after the update, so I'll go, I'll go second so I can get that additional time. Plus, knowing you, you probably dropped some fucking, uh, 
strong ass monster from the first, so the struggle would be real. Wow, this game. Alright, yep, yep, yep. This is definitely Yu Gi Oh! Legacy of the Duel. Right here, yep. 1850 is already pretty strong. Wow, and increased by another 300. Alright. Might have to just, you know, hit you in the mirror for a second. What is this? So, go ahead and set the beef. And go ahead and. I don't believe heavy is lethal. Or maybe it is. I said I would get confused between the two games, so this is great. The heavy starts me freaking frickin' rip. Frickin' rip, my boy. And then, of course, the, the true trap card that I want to save, which is that mirror, of course. And just go ahead and end the turn. So go ahead, go ahead. Then the keys overextends. Even though the monster come after me, catch this mirror for us. Alright. Alright. And uh, catch this mirror for us, so. Ah, vindication. Damn, Wendy Keith, you know, you're salty as fuck. No, stop asking me. No, stop asking me. Oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> Alright, so target when someone installs, throw out monsters, your phone controls, blah blah blah, make these hands catch them. Wow, this card is like, so in situation. It's just like, a thunder monster or someone's skull. Like, I just happen to be, I do have some skull, but I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of it. So of course we would tribute some in Asian Eyes White Dragon, I mean Beaver Warrior. Same thing, same thing. And some in some small. Alright, so now now I you know the duel starting to turn around in my favor. That mirror force saved my butt. Yeah, God, mirror force is such a great card. I love mirror force. <laughs> mirror force has saved me in this game and it saved me in Pad Force Life so many times. So many times. Yeah, it's going to be an offensive game, Keith. But now. Uh so yeah, I guess I have to be facing the monster, so. And go ahead and summon uh, Kom Komori Dragon. Wow, you got me half his life once that's that summon. Solomon, yep. Yep. Saying that I'm not really playing Yu Gi Oh! in real life, it's a little bit of a lie, too much. Uh, but I think about playing a little bit of Goat Street Friends, you know? I, I was playing Go. Oh, wow, wow. Last year. Rip. So when does this go off? During your opponent's next step phase. Alright, well, I ain't normal summon. So, you know, now I see why you saw him, because if I had that additional monster, you know. Yeah. Or if I didn't summon a heavy chili from the Curse of Dragon, I would like to just use everything right now. That sucks. Next time my face is gonna blow up in my face. Like, great. No. Oh, little goats. Goats is fun. I should go against uh, Simo with goats. You guys know Simo. He's a way, way, way. If I do this, will this? I'm gonna quit. You know what? Fuck it. I mean, I'm in a winning position anyway. And if I lose my summon, fall. I suck. Because I feel, I have a feeling that I'm, this is just gonna unequip. But, I mean, that's how I feel. Is there anything in here that I just really don't care about? What the fuck does this do? Uh, your opponent actually took the fire target and everything. Okay, I'm not into that. Right. So, I should be set, which means I should be unequipped in the box here, right? I'm guessing. I'm guessing. If this works, hey. Hey, that's pretty good. But yeah, I played against Goats, still against uh, my friend C. Oh, wow. Uh, seemed like it worked. Yep, yep. Hey, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just you didn't see that. Like, I had to use like that one. Alright. Oh, my God. I said, I didn't think I can activate this. No, I'm not sure if you say something. Uh, but yeah, yeah. It's all Simo. We play goats over and over and over and over. And it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Should have bet subscribers. I was like, hey, if I beat you in this little goats, you give me all your, you give me a channel, all your subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying my channel, right? I, I've been coming back into it, you know? Uh, my friend Dorian Dillis Julie, my friend he, he, he told me something really important which made me realize and uh, wake up is that if I quit the channel, because of course I have a ton, a ton of times I've thought about quitting the channel, is that I won't be remembered as the person who quit, not remembered for what I've done, you know? So I'd rather just keep going. I mean, it's not lucrative, it's more of a hobby. It's definitely not a job. I wish it could be a job. I really do. That'd be, that'd be fantastic if this could be a job, but it's just a hobby. Uh, I mean, the pay is not anything really so i'm uh, just doing it for the fun of it and uh hopefully uh the channel can continue to grow slowly but surely you know uh, we can hopefully get league season two you know with the ball rolling definitely and hopefully that will get done and uh we'll see you from there but it, you know at least with me going on and you really want to finish season two we, we at least got to 2018 so you don't have to worry about me quitting people so but uh you know, that really, it was really a wake up, so I really do appreciate uh, my friend Dylan Illustrated. He's, he's a good guy, he really is. So, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, continue on with some more Legacy of the Duelist. Um, going on in about 10 minutes, and I don't want this video to be too long. I said, you'll be getting another one tomorrow. 
So I think I'm gonna just call it here and so let's go ahead and talk and stuff like that. And uh, we will continue on tomorrow since you're gonna be getting new Kyo Lux schedules. Let's play during the weekend. So let's continue on. As Yuki battled playing the chief, even Bakura found his way into the duel, following the Millennium Pearl's energy with his Millennium Rings. Fascinating. I, I don't know, I don't remember Dr. Quiet's voice. I don't know, I, I was fascinating. It appears that shadow magic energizes. I, can, I detect I was doing Yuki's opponent. Being the key is just a puppet under the control of an evil, evil master. Well, this puppet show is over, for I alone shall possess the Millennium Puzzle, my ring. So, <laughs> Sever the strings that bind this man. Free his mind from the shadow realm. All right. Bakura uns unseen Ben Keith was freed from his mind control, making Ben Keith's control and wonder what happened. <laughs> what? My Millennium <laughs> spell or Keith had been broken. But how? Only the power of another Millennium Island can sever a connection so strong. Ugh. Where am I? All right, son. A duel is actually not bad. Looks like him with the mirror force and hit the summon skull. Man. Pretty much over, so not bad, not bad. All right, so I believe this is the guy with the uh, with uh, the Exodia, right? The Exodia, I mean, freaking Exodia obliterates me. I'll be stacking, and of course the other Dark Machine guy, we will enjoy your sleep. So it's starting to come back. I really just did not remember this duel. I mean, it did seem like an important thing to happen, you know, uh, but I just didn't remember <laughs> this episode at all or duel. So. Like I said, we will of course be back tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Doors. And like I said, it's going to be only temporary that I'm starting on the weekend instead of me not getting the geek or, you know, live stream. Because I just don't feel like touching the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! with Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. Uh, I totally don't mind just sitting here playing a little bit of Legacy of the Doors for you guys. And of course, hopefully the quality and the sound will be good. Because the new computer is it's just been working great lately. You know, I, I really am happy about my purchase and all the upgrades and stuff like that. So... Uh, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, even though you know when everything goes out. But still, nonetheless, uh, stay updated with the channel and continue watching and supporting me because I'm not quitting anytime soon, so hopefully you guys don't quit on me. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duels. Alright, people, I'm Swift.